In this question, four statements are given followed by five conclusions, one of which definitely does not logically follows or is not a possibility of occurrence from the given statements. That conclusion is your answer. So I think what you need to remember here is the one that does not logically follow, right? The one that does not follow the given statements is the answer. So we are not trying to find out the right conclusion here. Our job here is to find out the wrong conclusion. And he says out of five, only one is wrong. So we have to identify which one is wrong here. All right. And there are four statements, right? Look at the statement. Some trees are forests. Some forests are animals. All herbivores are pets. No animals are herbivores, right? So let's let's uh, draw a diagram for this one, the basic diagram, right? I'm sure all of you have gone through the syllogism video and you know the method to be followed uh, for solving these questions, right? So some trees are forests. Some trees are forests. Then some forests are animals. Some forests are animals. All herbivores are pets. Now, this is a challenge. If you look at the third statement, it says all herbivores are pets. But so far in our diagram, we have got uh, neither herbivores nor pets. Right? It's only about trees, forests and animals. So, I think let's, let's keep statement 3 on hold and move to the next one. Because we will not be able to connect statement 3 with the first two statements. Right? The fourth statement says no animals are herbivores. Now, this is... This, this can be connected with the first two statements, right? Because we already have animals here. So the statement says no animals are herbivores. No animals. No animals are herbivores. So animals are already here, marked here. No animals are herbivores. So no animals are herbivores. Basically these two circles cannot touch each other, right? These two sets cannot touch each other. Animals and herbivores cannot touch each other. Now come back to statement 3, which we had kept on hold, right? It says all herbivores are pets. All herbivores are pets. Now herbivores is already marked. All herbivores are pets. So all these are pets. Remember, this is a basic diagram. So we need to, you know, ensure that there is minimum encroachment or minimum overlapping between different sets. So overall basic diagram for the given statements is this. Some trees are forests. Some forests are animals. No animals are herbivores. All herbivores are pets. Now let us look at the conclusions, right? Let us find out which are correct and which is wrong. And then we'll mark the answer. So all forests being animals is a possibility. All forests being animals is a possibility. He is talking about a possibility here, right? If he says simply all forests are animals, then we would have said this conclusion is wrong because all the forests are not animals. According to basic diagram, all the forests are not animals. But since he is talking about a possibility here, which says all forests being animals is possible, we have to just consider one diagram which can be drawn uh, to prove this. So is it possible? Yes. I mean, without even drawing a, a possible diagram, you can say that this is definitely possible because the, the statement read some forests are animals. You know that some forests are animals can also be drawn in this fashion. Yes or no? This is a possible way of drawing some A's or B's. I mean basic way of drawing some A's or B's is as we have seen here. Some A's or B's. Some forests are animals. But the possible way of drawing some A's or B's is one where forests and animals both are in the same circle. Right? So some forests are animals can also be drawn as all forests are animals. So all forests being animals is definitely possible. Next. All forests are herbivores is a possibility. All forests are herbivores is a possibility. Now check this. Again, he's talking about possibility. So we need not worry about the basic diagram. We can show it in, you know, any one diagram there. So all forests are herbivores. All forests are herbivores. Is it possible? Just think about it. Without drawing the diagram, without drawing any other diagram, just try and see what would go wrong if you try to, you know, follow conclusion 2. If you try to make conclusion 2 correct. He says all forests are herbivores. See, the point is this. If you want all the forests to be herbivores, so this complete set, this F region here, has to go inside H. Yes or no? F should go inside H because all the forests have to be herbivores. So all the Fs have to go inside H, right? Inside H or equal to H. Now, the point is if you take all the Fs inside H, these As will also go inside H because there is an overlapping between F and A. Yes or no? There's, there's some portion of F which overlaps with A. So if you try to take all the Fs inside H, these Fs will also go inside H. And these Fs are nothing but As. So what are you doing? You are taking animals inside herbivores. And we very well know that animals and herbivores cannot touch each other according to the statements. We had put this cross marks if you remember. So all the forests cannot be herbivores. Because if you take all the forests inside herbivores, animals will also go inside herbivores. And we know that A and H cannot cross each other. So clearly, conclusion 2 is wrong. It is not possible. It is not even possible to do this. Right? All forests are herbivores is not possible. And I think here itself we can say that option 2 is the answer.